Around a dozen protesters have been fined for putting themselves in the firing line at the start of the duck hunting season. Shooters were angered by the interference, while the Premier has called for calm. Emily Rice has that story. The hunters became the hunted, with protesters stalking duck shooters during the official start to the season. Activists waded into wetlands near Kerrang to monitor the shooters and rescue maimed birds. It's cruel. The cruelty is outrageous. Soon they became the target of authorities. Demonstrators escorted from the area and fined for being in a sanctioned game reserve without a licence. We'll stop as soon as recreational duck shooting comes to an end in Victoria. There are laws now which control their activity and uh, uh, they have to abide by those laws uh, just as our hunters abide by the laws. Interference by protesters did cause irritation. The ones that we did get they, the greenies were getting them before we could even get, get hold of them. Animal welfare advocates claim this 2013 hunting footage proves some birds are left to die in pain. It's banned in Western Australia, it's banned in New South Wales, it's banned in Queensland. You go up to it and you kill it humanely. So there's no suffering in the process. Hunters are allowed to kill up to 10 birds a day with restrictions on certain species. And there are plenty of places sanctioned for shooting around the state, from wetlands and game reserves to private property. In 2011, a protester was accidentally shot and injured by a young hunter. You're welcome to make your point, but certainly uh, keep out of the road of duck hunters going about their legitimate sport. But when it comes to disrupting the 12-week duck hunt, protesters will give it their best shot. Emily Rice, Nine News.